Good day. You are welcome to another edition of our online class. And today, we want to talk about connecting a gate contact. When we talk about gate contact, we are talking about an electric fence gate contact. Now, this video, I actually had to make this video because I've been receiving so many calls, even uh, messages as regarding the gate contact, and I feel it is due that this video be made. So today I want to explain how you can connect a gate contact. Okay, one thing you should understand is connecting a gate contact, you must understand first that treating each of this, uh, the gate and the uh, and uh, and the uh, fence itself you must understand what it takes so that you are able to separate whatever you're doing here from this and at the end of the day bring them together maybe that will make you understand what we're really talking about um, now from this drawing uh, from this uh, diagram here this is part of the fence this is our slide gate i have to do it this way so that we can understand is on that side of the fence, you know. So gate contacts are only used for slide gates. If it's for swing, we don't need to bother about the gate contacts because that we can link through the hinge, the pole at the hinge, any of the pole at the edge of the hinge, we can link the fence from that end. So, this gate contact, like I said earlier, is only used for slide gates. Areas where you have slide gates, I want to make sure your gate is also linked with the fence and whenever there's an intrusion through the gate if somebody tries to uh, scale through the gate the alarm goes off so this is what we need to understand okay this is your gate contact let me explain how this gate contact is designed okay now we have the female which is this and the male the male, you can understand that the male has this uh, protrusion on it and the female, you just see it has that, uh, the flat part. It is a female that can actually, you can actually, that has kind of a spring on it that you can push in. It goes in and out. How does this gate contact operate? Now this gate contact is designed such that by the time um, this spring is pushed in okay the con the contact between the top and the bottom is opened or no matter if it is left at a rest the rest the rest it your contact for this uh female is closed now how can you test that if you have an avometer put it on continuity why is on continuity just try put your one power one uh, the positive of your probe here and put the other, the, the negative side of your probe here. By the time you try to put on continuity and you test, you notice this will show that there's continuity between A and B. It starts beeping. So, but you can also do this if you want to confirm if this thing is open, if the alarm, if the, if the continuity breaks, just try and push this, push this part in or both, both part in. You notice that the continuity between this point A and point B is broken. So the, 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 I'll say that might cause the fence to raise an alarm if it notices anything from the male. Now, that's how the female is designed. The female is designed such that immediately this part, this spring-like section here, is pushed in. I will, please don't forget, I will show you a, an image of what the gate contact looks like. We will have that in our video. But immediately this part is pushed in. The con connection between point A and B, which is somewhere here, is built in. Maybe this part is pushed in. This, this contact opens up immediately. So maybe it returns back to rest it. You notice the continuity. You, you, you notice the continuity is there again, is, re, is restored. Now for the male, the male is just designed such that it has its protrusion here and here. This continuity is linked within, inside. It's just linked inside. If you put one part of your probe here, another part of your probe here, you will notice that continuity between A and B. Okay? So, 
that is that with uh, your gate contact. A part of your of your gate contact. This is just to take power, uh, supply from here down to this part. So it means the main part is normally open, it's left open. It's just to take lead from here to this other part. So what we need to do is ensure that you always have in this mail, if possible, the mail should be attached to your gate, to the moving part of your gate, to your, your slide gate. Now for your mail gate contact, this part is to take supply here and this one is to take supply here. So always ensure you have this main part attached to your gate, to the moving, to the slide gate, the gates that moves from uh, one place to another. Always attach your mail to this. Most times, this is how it is most times installed. Just watch this. This is brought here. And you have something like this. And this is out. So this gate rolls, maybe it goes, and this one, this other part here, the Fimi, is attached to an enforcement here. And it's on the wall. The fixed part, the side, the part, the, the side of the, the fence, the area of the fence that is static. That is static. It should, the female should be attached here. But how do we connect this? Let me show you one thing you must understand. When connecting a gate contact, always ensure your gate, you finish every of your loop on your gate. Ensure every loop on the gate is complete, that your loop from your gate is complete. What do I mean? For example, your fence, you might have finished every of the loop then before you start connecting this so that it will be easy for you to gain that sense of direction instead of missing things or trying to say, okay, where do I connect this part or where do I connect this? So it will be better you just connect, do every of your looping and when your looping is done, then you bring in your gate contact. So just take a look at this drawing, that, uh, this drawing, what this is. So this is what we'll be having here. Let's take, let's do our connection. You understand this is a six line connect, connection. And the number that we're having this as a live, at, live, live, at, live. Okay, see my applies here. Live, at, live, live, at, live. And also for the other side of the fence. Live at live live at live. Good. This gate slides this way, it opens gate. If it moves this way, it opens this direction. It opens. And this is the close area. So when this gate moves here, close. If it closes, it engages this and takes power to this face. This is what we want to try to achieve from this very diagram. So what do we do? We we'll do our looping, let's do it this way, okay. Let's assume our energizer is somewhere here, okay. We have our energizer here. Life out, life return, okay. This, L-O, life out, life return. So let's say this is our life out to this energizer, okay? This, okay. Number one goes to number three, the next life. And this one returns to this. Oh my, oh goodness. So this fence, my fence is not, okay, let me reduce this. That's a line, okay, let's say this is the first, sorry. I was actually, I actually made my first a line. I didn't separate my fence from the, from the line six, so it was actually five lines. So here, I take this to this, okay. This is the other part of the fence, okay. This 
it's supposed to go to my energizer okay now I need to get connections to this part what do I need to do I'll come here just take a look at this now let's assume this side is done we need to get connection to this other part of the fence okay so all I need to do is to open this I take one part of this the, the let me take this one first I'm taking it I don't want to connect here because you won't see it so I bring this one down I've connected one part to the female of this uh, gate contact okay and um, the other part oh, no, let me do sorry Take this to the first part here, and I take this one from the end of this part. You see, the other end of this gate contact. I will take it if it's here, it's supposed to be here, right here. So I'll take the other lead from here and return, take it under the because under the gates, you need to make your there is going to be some conduit pipe under the ground feeding this part of the fence with this other part and you'll be having your cables there you'll be having your three cables your live out your live return and your earth so all i need to do here through the conduit under the fence under these gates i pass this cable the other the out the other side of my or was it of my gate contact i take this one all the way through that conduit one okay I go over to this side I feed this okay the life one comes to the life then the life hits this hit the other life here and this one this is the one returning okay comes here the other conduit under the ground under the gate this is the gate under you have a conduit then this cable comes all the way through the conduit the return okay please take note of that the return comes all the way comes in and goes back to the other life here and uh, i don't know if that is clear i'll do that again now, imagine you're done with this part. Take one, open one of the contacts. You link it to your gate contact, the female part of your gate contact, which is here. Link this one here. Then the other part of your gate contact, there should be a lead from there all through to the other side. While it gets here, let it feed all this, all the lives. Then it's returning. See how this is the second cable on, in the coined pipe, coined pipe we talked about earlier. So this second cable will be inside the same conduit and it comes all the way, goes back to the to the last life which goes to return. Okay, this is the other one. Then the la the other part of your okay, this is this is this is fixed, this is complete now. Now the one is left is our earth. We just need to li link our earth and just bring the last cable of the earth to go through the same conduit. And feed the edge of this. Look your edge. Okay, that's fine. So the only part left here is your gate. Your gate, this very gate area. The, the gate has not been touched because this mill is still waiting for signal, waiting to receive signal. So all I need to do is to have a loop on my gate as if I want to connect it to an energizer. All I need to do, I'll just repeat the same thing here. I see if I want to connect an energizer here and connect an energizer cable here and here. Okay, I just come here, 
I'll repeat this same connection here. My life, to my life, my my life, yes, uh, third life, to the fourth, the fourth line, to the sixth. Now, I have this place here and here opened, nothing there. All I need to do is to take this part and bring it to this gate contact. Okay? Is that clear? And I bring the other one to the other terminal of the gate contact. So you're not having one of these. Okay, let me not connect it here. Sorry, I am mixing things up. This part, let me let me wipe this off. Okay, let me wipe it off. Now, this part, the first part, will come all the way to this terminal of your gate contact. The number one comes to this terminal of your gate contact. And the number two comes to the second, and the number six, sorry, the number six comes to this terminal of your gate contact. So at the end of the day, you have this. So immediately this one marries this one. It takes, it opens this contact here, opens this contact, and automatically this fence closes it here. So when this one comes in contact with it, it opens this one up, this one here, the link they have here, and closes it here. The fence is already closed here. So you have supply going through from here, watch this, from this direction. Supply here enters this all the way, one, two, three, three to four, four to six, and returns back to this and completes the circuit through the other side to the other side of the, of the fence. I hope this is clear enough, but if it's not clear, I think I'll see come up with some other videos to try and simplify this whole thing. I will try and simplify this, but I'm finding that my, some persons may still find it difficult to understand this. But what you need to understand, take this, take note of this. Look this as a separate entity first. Having do your one, your electronic, if your energizer is coming from here. Loop it as if you're done with your whole connection. One, two, three, three to four, four to six, close them, and this one returns to your energizer as if this is done, as if this one does not exist. Then here, the loop, your, your, your loop cable between this and this, open it, remove the loop entirely, take it away, throw it off, and the cable from that place, take one terminal to the female part of your of your gate contact. Then, the other one down here, just leave this one there. Just, don't touch this. Just leave this one. Make it, just leave it follow there. Make sure it enters here. The other part of your gate contact, which is here, take the lead from there, through the conduit pipe under. Let it come feed this other part. So it came here. It fed this here. Uh, number six to number four. Four to three. Three to one. One returns and it comes back through the same conduit under the ground to the number six here. Makes that circuit complete. Then you treat your, your fence, your, your, sorry, your, your slide gate as a separate entity. All you need to do is to take um, your gate contact, just take only one of the cable, connect from this, from your gate contact, and let it go through, either you're going through number one or number six. So you should treat this one the way it treated there, all you need to do is to have your loop one to one to three, three to four, four to six. Then the part that is followed, which is this and this, take one of it to one of the terminal of your male of, of the male of your gate contact, and the last one to the female, uh, sorry, to the other terminal of the male of the gate contact. So that's all about connecting a gate contact to an electric fence. And uh, I hope this video will help you a lot. But if there are still questions, please don't hesitate to drop that question here. I'll be very, very happy to respond. And as much as possible, any way I can help in simplifying this, I'll really do that. Till we meet again in our next class, please subscribe, share with friends, and also invite others to like our page. Till we meet again, do have a nice day. Thanks.
for watching. Bye for now.